All right, let's talk about site management. We have two main menu items left here under site management, reports and help, although help is what it sounds like, it's just help. Go ahead and click on reports and you'll see a listing of the reports that you can get on your Drupal site. Go ahead and click on available updates. And again, depending on when you're taking this class and what you've installed, this might look a little different. If anything is in the red, that means there's a security update and you should update it very, very quickly. If it's yellow, then it's not a security update, but there's an update available. Right now, of course, I have no updates available simply because I'm on the latest version of everything while I'm teaching this class. On the settings tab, I can tell Drupal when to check for updates and to send an email to me if there are updates available. I can't recommend this enough. You really should do this. Send yourself an email when updates are available. So that's the available updates report. Recent log messages give you any kind of errors or log file type submissions that you might want to track. You should look at these every once in a while because this actually will fill up quite a bit. I'm getting a couple of JavaScript errors on the Zircon theme. And again, this is pretty typical for software when it's not quite ready yet. I had tried to install the masquerade module. It didn't work. So again, you're seeing some errors here that you might not normally see. One of the things you can do is to filter the log messages. For instance, access denied is an important one to notice if you get any access denied errors. Once you've done that, you can quickly clear the log messages because this area can fill up really quickly. As well under reports, field list, I can get an overview of all the fields on my site, including the field name, which is the machine name, what type of field it is, and where it's being used. This can be really helpful later on when you're finishing out the site build. A status report, any problems recognized by Drupal, and some of the other settings. For instance, I'm on MySQL 5.5.42, my Drupal core status is up to date, my database is up to date, etc., etc., etc. A couple of things down here at the bottom. We mentioned OP code caching in our very first installation video, and the trusted host settings is something that you should actually set up. Again, I'm on a local host, not as important. Top access denied and page not found errors is a simple way of making sure your site is performing the best it can. Top search phrases, of course, I haven't made any searches. And views plugins, an overview of all of the plugins used in your views. And once again, this is something that's probably beyond us in this class, but something that can be useful once your site is built and it's being used. The help menu does what it sounds like, gives help on a variety of topics. These are all links to the documentation at drupal.org. Many of these pages are still being updated even as we record this video. So understanding the reporting section of your Drupal website is the first step to maintaining your site.